Okay, here we go. And begin! Welcome back, guys. We are now in the second game of this series, of the semi-final series of Team Tasman versus Team Nagano. The reason I'm calling them that is it makes it easier for me to call them that. Uh, they're not, I don't know if they're team captains or whatever, but we're just saying that. Anyway, so last game, the Allies won for the first time ever today on Red Bull Express. And that was the team that are now playing Axis, which is the Von, Von Essen's team, Von Essen's Taliban team. Right, so we just see a tier 2 start over here from the Zara. And. What do you have over here? Start a mid. Universal Carrier, ready uh, Universal Carrier quite quickly, okay. <sighs> All quiet so far. Wait for the Google to support before capping the point. And here comes the Brengham. Okay, cool one being aggressive, pushing forward. So the focus needs to be changed target now, focus on the stems pushing in, but now the stems are gonna back away because they see the universal carrier pushing forward. So this is gonna be a reverse back by um Grugum. Getting the cover built there, so his machine gun that's about to come up is gonna have a nice little area to hold from. Okay, machine gun's there and set up, so no one's going to be capping that point anytime soon. We see an early sniper from Loveless rocking on over here. He's going to try and start shooting that machine, that uh, pupil down. Scout car as well, an M3, so Loveless is just going sniper M3. And the sniper is going to just keep picking away at this machine gun now until something happens. You can just keep doing this now, you can just keep picking away at this uh, machine gun. This machine gun's going to back away. I'm going to take another shot here before it pulls back. Kubo is going to try and engage the sniper. Is he going to actually go for it? Oh, he's being, he's going to go for it! He's going to get it! The sniper can dance around the cover here, so he can, yeah, that's, that Kubo was a bit, and, and, you know. Yeah, he, he almost got it. It got low, but... It's too risky and it is unlikely to get it anyway, so I wouldn't have done that myself. But he tried. Move on to the right hand side. Very weak. A lot of uh, riflemen are trying to hold on to the fuel point. The machine gun gets smoked, so now the um, German infantry can push in. Uh, keep pushing, keep flanking. Oh, and oh, the Brenton gun just got taken out by a Faust over here, I believe. Carry threat, flamethrower. Oh, he tried to get the flamethrower. Oh, what is this? Oh, Mashiga managed to get the suppression shots. I don't know how he managed to shoot the squad over there through the building, but it did. Company here is too logic for you. Cool wagon rushing forward to try and get some damage where it can. Slapper is still there, still picking away slowly. Five kills to his name to start with. Here comes the M3, so he's going to rotate over to the right. I guess they want the M3 over here to get rid of this machine gun in this house. Or maybe he might come through over here. Ooh, the truck, you might find the truck getting set up here. He's going to go through the gap, the gap in the thing. If he finds this truck early, that's a nice little win. But there is a Volk squad there and a Gren squad there, so they might be able to stop it. Yeah, there's Gren's there, so he's not going to be able to do it. The M3's going to back away. Oh, we might see a counter sniper here. Oh! The Sturms have found the Sniper. He's low health. Alright, Sturms should be okay on the retreat back. Alright, Sniper's going to move up. He can get himself in some cover. Oh, he's going to open up. No, why did you do that for, Von Essen? You just revealed that you had a Sniper. You could have easily got a count. Look, and as soon as that happens, Loveless immediately pops on hole fire on his Sniper. Here comes the M3. M3 manages to um, almost kill this Grenscott. Slides the pull back. And Fjord are now in control of the Axis right now. Tries to salvage that, but loses a man. The repair kit. What's that? Is that a, a bugged animation? No. Looks like it. <laughs> he dies as a repair dude. 
Grenade lobbed. That's right, missed it over here. Pickles get pushed back, the Vox all through the own oh, grenade and take about 10% damage for no reason. Don't know why they did that. Just might just keep trying to pick away with the sniper over there on the left. Sniper misses. Raketten gets a nice juicy shot in on the M3. It's gonna have to be forced back. And then, oh, we've got smoke pushes. He smokes it so he can get the MG, get closer and probably push this machine gun. This, this guy, this engineer is going to get in the house now and probably easily burn this uh, MG out because it's on green cover. This, I, I feel really sorry for this MG because it's going to get burned. One more flame burst. Might get killed for it. Ooh, close. Meanwhile, over here, those restaurants shouldn't be engaging those dudes. Right. And we have a half track out. Again, the mortar half I keep seeing this in all these team games, this mortar half track. I guess it's fairly good, but Allies haven't won too many of the games we've watched today. So this gun's out early, nice, so you can do with anything. Right when it goes in, kills one guy. Machine gun's there to support. We're gonna try and keep going for the decap here. Two to two's out on the field, probably gonna try and hunt down the uh, M3. It's still on the left side of the mine getting parted there. M3 is on the left still. This gun could be trying to kill the cool wagon, but it's not in a great position at the moment. This feels like we're watching a repeat of another game. You know, same kind of build, you know? More half track, med truck move forward. Okay, there's the T2 2 just been spotted. What if we go here with the rifle and lob the rifle over the top and kill that machine gun? So it looks like the, the Americans and the Soviets on the right hand side are regaining control of it, slowly. Cheeky this barrage on that mortar, he's trying to get rid of it. This gun's not too effective at max range. Life grenade going in on this blob. Oh, juicy! Might lose that squad retreat, something else just went down on the map. Ooh, lucky they just lived, but I think they just something went down somewhere on the map. I missed it. I just had, I had infantry group for lust. I'm not sure what that was. Anyone in chat catch that? Oh, we've got a uh, scissory grenade here. The pinnacles gonna have to move. We've got PTR's rifles now inside the M3, so it could try and tango with the uh, the scout car. It will try. You're gonna keep pushing here. Just be very careful though. Sniper just got spotted. Immediately retreats. We've got a captain trying to make a, make waves over here, trying to flake now, but those Volks will probably hold firm. They've got a lot of grenade against those captain squad. Machine gun there denying the capture of the lieutenant, but it's currently getting mortared to hell. This is going to get opening up again on the mortar. This time, oh, I thought I like, killed two models, but it didn't. Again, it's not, I'm not sure that's the best use of these munitions there. It's 70 munitions he's just used to try and do a couple of bit of damage to a mortar half, to a mortar team. It's not the best. We're getting in a good spot here. We'll get a nice first juicy shot in. No, it won't. It'll miss. And he will now smoke to avoid the second. We're getting tries to attack ground anyway. Allies. Getting really good control over here. Machine gun in this house. Probably need, the, 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 the grain needs to get out here. We do finally see a flame through a half track. Gonna burn. Oh, look at that. Max range attack ground actually connecting. Very nice. Anti-tank gun, where is it? It's getting healed, it'll probably move in soon. This one cool wagon is still alive for our talisman. Rifle's gonna try and hold on to this munitions point, but I don't know for how much longer. Raketten, it's good. I like the AC, the AC's moved sides because he knows Raketten's on the left. So this is a good play here. That sniper probably should get healed though. Hopefully, uh, Nagano will, will We'll tell love this or the other way around. They'll say, hey, heal my sniper or something like that. But at the moment, they're not really doing that. Uh, we'll see if that teamwork happens. One of you will do it. He might do it. He might ping it. Yeah, okay, those rifles get pushed back. Uh, but allies still have kind of good control of this fuel point. And the left of the moment, oh, there's a sneaky Raketten though, has gone up and captured the fuel point. This is nice because if he tries to stop it, the squad's going to come in and get suppressed by his machine gun. And a good mortar hit there from that one will, will damage that Vickers. And the sniper will keep opening up. Almost kill, yeah, it's going to force back that Vickers there. Sniper uh, is still on the middle. 
And we do see one of our first caches going up, munitions cache, rather than fuel. Flames against, you know, green cover is probably not the best thing, but those, those guys, those engineers should retreat anyway. Flamethrower half is moving really far forward. As this gun is cloaked, here comes a T-70. Is there any Ricketons over here? There is no AT over here. So this plan is this T-70 can go, go to town on all this infantry. Probably might get Faustus here. But I don't know if the Allies know. But Desire, I don't know if he knows there's no Ricketons over here at the moment. Axis of Nelgain can complete control of the left hand side. Allies are running into mines and everything. A lot of these infantry squads are getting really low. We might, we might see a wipe here. Nice attempt for attack ground. They do wipe the, end, the, the, the squad there. Grenade goes off to try and wipe. T-70 is trying to push forward. Where's the AC in all this? It's damaged. It's got it's getting heal, heal. He's, he's being psycho. We've got Stuka rounds coming in as well. Mm, not very effective there. But these T-70s might turn the tide of the battle right now. Uh, AC's repaired. Let's hopefully it moves in. It's going to get Faustus here. The cannon has been found out. The penal squad is trying to chase down these two to twos. One's blocking the other. He might get a kill here. But AC is probably going to run over there. Might try and get him. Oh, he does. One of the two to twos gets taken out. Careless there. He could have avoided that. Scout card does go down. And he loses the engineers inside it. I'm not sure what was happening there. But he wasn't paying attention. AC's trying to rush over there to see if he can find that. There's a Stuka there. Stuka doesn't even react to that. Penals. Probably were trying to get up there, lob a satchel charge. T70 is doing a lot of work here. Taking fire from a pack gun. Probably might de decrew this. Um... No, nope, we won't. We'll just take another shot and pull back. Okay, so allies done really well right inside of these T70s so far. And AC takes a rear armor hit for its troubles. Tier 4 now up from Dazara. Fairly early. Let's look at the Axis over here. We don't have any tech here yet. We, is anyone taking it? Oh, he has teched up tier 4. He just needs to build tier 4. Over here, he's not even teched up at all. Von Aston hasn't. Okay. He's making a Gren another Grenadier this late into the game. Ray going in. Very juicy, killing three models there. Mortar half track has been spotted. It's going to have to pull back. It's hitting once. AC still trying to do some work. Stuka barraging again on the right. All these units of support are all set up together. It's going to land over there on the left. It wipes one Maxim. It almost wipes a second. Nice maneuver there. It needs to probably should keep that Maxim there to stop them getting stop them stealing the other one. Where's the T seventy and all? Of it? Where's it gone? Has it died? It's gone all the way back to base. He's going to steal this. He's going to steal this um, MG for no reason. Because this gun needs to fire on it now with a barrage. That he's going to steal it. Here we go. He sees it. He fires. But I don't know if he's going to get it. One. No. That's going to be stolen. That's a big mistake there. Frame to half trick is going to try and get in there and get a couple of licks off. Damage. See a two 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 goes down here. Looks like it was fighting some shocks. Whatever it is that? Yeah, it looks like shock troopers there, yeah. Looks like there might be a shock squad that just got killed then. Right, we're going to go in against those dudes there. The is not paying attention. Probably going to lose these guys. They're veterans too. They have a 50 cal as well. Oh, no, 30. What's it called? It's a, uh, sorry, an M19, sorry. And if that on a Grenadier, it would be very nice. Decently pushing up ahead. Spot's very weak. Things. Pack though is there ready. Pack does miss. Won't miss the second shot. It's going to try and rotate around. It's going to find the machine gun. Machine gun is it going to pop an armor piercing round? No. Left hand side. Sniper is still alive. Still with a sliver of health. Don't think it's ever been healed this game. We did a plane overhead. That is going to be recon run from Love Nest. Oh, I've done that thing again. Sniper gets Metro C2, but it's probably need to pull back and get healed out. Another Stuka Barrage coming in in the middle. It's probably going to go. Oh, this blob here, though. Oh! Dude. The 
distance between those two rockets was just perfect for those guys to get underneath. That was lucky. Another Stuka rocket opening up over here. Lots of support weapons all clumped up. Zara trying to reposition as fast as he can. Repositions incredibly well and doesn't take any damage from it. Well done. Looks like there's a good flank here from the um, from, from Devim. He's got a really good opportunity to flank in here. There's no machine guns to stop this flank. He's might even he's gonna drop some artillery down as well. No, he's done. What's this gun down? Um, he's done time on target artillery. This is gonna hurt. There's more artillery coming down as well. That's gonna be incendiary barrage. So they're just trying to put a lot of damage on this area. Grenades going off. Oh my FPS just went went, went really bad then. Burning all the way through that. It was a nice attempt, but he really didn't do too much with that. I don't think he wiped anything. He just did a bit of damage to the, to the battle group. Went to a half jack trying to move in. T70 pounds and finds an angle, but there's a raquette in there as well. He needs to back away. The pack is probably going to reset up and fire once more. It'll be a one bow combo. One shot. Oh, he manages to get past it. The, the grenadiers do get a Faust in. And the T70 does go down. T70 did have a nice idea. Oh, meanwhile, on the left hand side, what's going over here? Massive push from the Allies and push down the center side. Um, and AC is now making a maneuver in here. Finds the flame through a half track. It's going to get Faustin. Probably going to lose the flame through a half track here. He gets it. Probably attack ground here from the packs. Oh, they do miss somehow. AC might get away here. That would be a good win there for the Allies. And we now see. Um, what does that sound like? Jackson firing there. What was that? Somehow. The um, AC is getting away, but it, it's on a, it needs to have the T-70 to support it. He's getting blocked by his teammate. He's going to get Faustin here. He needs to keep reversing. Oh, he's going to get Faustin. Rip AC. No, I could have survived if the anti tank wasn't blocking it. And that T-70 was over there in support of it. Well, allies do have good map control, and they're putting on the pressure. And look at that, oh, dude, that building almost go, went down a slither of HP. They need a little bit more, more damage on that to kill it. Sticker firing once more onto the right hand side. Probably going to be on the machine guns and mortars. Uh, again, not very good. Not good at all. This gun's probably going to rotate and turn on the Ziz gun. Sorry, sorry, the machine gun's probably going to barrage. That's what I would do. He's going to barrage that. There we go. He comes barraging now. The sniper's still alive for Loveless. And we have a Sensar net out for Nagano. Sapper's on a little wild adventure down in enemy lines. Maybe trying to find the sniper. Sniper's gonna hold fire. We should try and fire on him. Will the sniper try and attempt to do a sentry round? Will he do it? He's gonna try it. They're gonna clump maybe. Will he get lucky? Oh, he gets one. He doesn't get the white. He's spotted a lot of mines though. Is he, is he, gonna try, is he trying to attack ground? Yeah, he's trying to attack ground and destroy it. But here comes a little cheeky flex from two rifles. An LT and a rifle coming around. <coughs> Grenade rushing, throw it being thrown in there. Fairly good. MG should be able to get away with a nick of health, of slither of health. Good in cover for his units over here. Like this, good teamwork here. De Devin's trying to make sure his teammates got some, some good, you know, every chance to hold that side. Um, BP is still kind of neck and neck. Uh, and we have our first Katusha on the field. Firing quite far back, so these extra rounds shouldn't be too accurate. And the Katusha's also firing. Dude, those rounds are actually really accurate somehow. And then another barrage coming in here. Whoa, that's a lot of snooker barrages. There's two that was fired then. Didn't wipe anything though again. Right, there is the Jackson that I did here. I thought I did. Shocks are up and about. Shredding Volk Squad. And potentially, I don't know why. I see a stern pioneer here that's picked up a PCRS rifle. That's not a good idea. Lobbing a grenade. Oh, he lobbed it onto the thingy. My mistake, I think. Good play here from the gunner, finding an angle to push in. Would like to see him push up his support weapons as well here. And the second in the back. <clears throat> Is that another Katusha? That's the other one. Yeah, there's another Katusha. Two Katusha now, I think. You just five one. Here we go again. He's trying to find a target. Oh, we do see a wipe there. Looks like a stern pioneer just got killed on retreat there. 
Fortish Rockets coming in. Danger close. Wiping the squad. Also, friendly fire damage there. Hang on a minute. Plasman. That's close. More oh, artillery coming smashing down here hard. Probably trying to get the Stuka because that's where it just fired. The axe is going to be popped into a corner here now. Backed up into a corner. They're struggling. Yeah, as soon as he uses a Stuka, he reverses it all the way back to base. Which is quite nice. What do we see coming onto the field here? Our first Brumba again. Oh, this is good Katusha fire. Very nice. He timed the retreat of this pretty well. Wipes another squad there. Perfect use of Katusha. And wait until the enemy retreats back and then bombards it. So he used recon run. London's used recon run to spot for that. Yep. That was lovely. He got, he got at least I think, maybe one or two wipes then. <clears throat> oh. He's got his sniper on hold fire there. He's maybe waiting. He sees the enemy sniper. He just needs to get a little bit further forward. He's going to try and steal the machine gun, but probably shouldn't have. Brumbo's going to show up. Sniper gets the counter snipe! And he retreats back to base. Good play there from Loveness once more. And another direct, really close quarters, uh, Katusha Barrage. Not doing too much there, unfortunately. Kills a couple of men there. Rumble's got to be careful. Paul Jackson's opening up on it. Oh, you're making me tired now. <laughs> Pack's going in, landing around. And another one, one more shot. Matt Jackson would have died, but he's reversing back to safety. We do see another Panzerwerfer. So double Panzerwerfer here, and another, another Stuka's opening up here. Probably going to be on these Maxims. Again, these Stukas are just not cutting it. You know, they're just killing a couple of men here and there, but they're not wiping anything significant. I hear a KV-8. Yeah, here it is. Oh, nice attempt there to try and lob a shell over the top to try and kill. The rifle is capping the point there. More Stuka Barrage coming in again. Again, it doesn't seem like it hits anything. Another one coming in, probably on the middle of VP here. This time, nailing its target and killing the rifleman all together. Rip rifleman. We do see a R2 bombing strike coming onto the map. Where is it going to land? Oh, it landed directly on this house and cleared it. Got some dead grens there. Panzer barrage. Smashing a lot of things. It's two barrages probably going off there. A lot of damage there done. Here comes a big flank over here as well. Looks like he stole a raquette and worth it. That would be a nice pick for the Allies in Nogano. Um, flames supporting these shocks. Again, danger close with the Katusha fires. This squad's going to have to retreat through that next volley. Will it live? No, oh, maybe. Fox not switching their target there. But maybe these infantry sections could get over there, over here, and, and anticipate, anticipate this retreat part. Oh, they're trying. They're trying to go over there. Will he get it? This would be a really nice pick if he can grab it. He probably can get a hit. Oh, dude, that bulk has got nine lives. That was a nice attempt, though, from Nagana to try and get to get ahead and try and see if he can get the um, get the kill there. KV8 is just doing doing what it does best and burning every German it knows. You can see. Shusha's about to open up again. Over here, trying to clear all the support, all these uh, infantry pushing in. Nice hit there. Another Stuka opening up on the left. Probably on the support weapons here. Not too good. The axes are really... Oh, Vox! Oh, what happened there? Something went down. Stuka goes down. To something. What was that? Was that still a sexton on the field? I'm not sure we got that. Oh, dude, what do we have here? We've got the freaking the air, the air, the air, eight. I can't say it. Royal Air Force coming in. The RAF bombing bombs everywhere. The squad going down. Still, the battle group headquarters lives. I'm not sure what killed that um, that Stuka. I'm really wondering what that was. I'm just trying to look around the map to see if there was a sexton on the field or a priest. I can't. I'm not sure what killed that. Anyone in chat? Any idea? Again, look at that Panzer. We're really close to the front line. Grenade being lobbed somewhere. Easy dodge. Just a little bit of damage. Panzer has been spotted. 
Let's get a little bit close. Gonna get Faust in here. And the pack's gonna keep opening up. There might be a dead KV8. There's Raquette in there as well. Big mistake there for Loveless. Oh, that's a shame. KV8 goes down for not much reason at all. Didn't really pay for itself either. Loveless the sniper is still killing dude. 28 now. Hopefully he will use his flare ability because it'll be cheaper than using his uh, recon ability uh, to spot for a certain area. Uh, Firefly is now trying to get an angle for trying to flank around to see if he can find a Pansworth. He does this. Look at a low Pansworth right there. And Von Essen doesn't realize it. Very nice little flank there. Pansworth just gets taken out. Legata notices that. And who goes like, oh no, shit, get the hell out of there. Nice little flank there again. Um, Rumba coming in here, smashing in against those penals. And again, look at, I like what he's doing here with these, these infantry. He's trying to flank around the gun there. Trying to find the, the Rumba. He tries to attack ground but misses. More fans on the fire coming danger close onto this Maxim crew. Oh, that's a little bit of overkill. I mean, I think it was two Panzerwerfer barrages and a Stuka barrage as well. Okay, we have a Command Panther out. But we do have a Stuka barrage here. I guess he was trying to anticipate the retreat path, but unfortunately he didn't retreat. But he's going to retreat now anyway. Firefly. Needs to be careful. It's got Panther on his ass. There's no way to take no support. There's one back there, but it's too far away. The Panther's going to chase. He's going to pop on Mark Vehicle. Is there anything? Here comes. Okay, here comes two Jacksons to support. Now might be a good time to counter attack. Oh, everything pens. Go, 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 allies. That Panther has been severely crippled. Oh, the last shot bounces, but I don't think. Well, one more shot wouldn't have killed it, I don't think. Probably would have survived one more shot. But I, I like what the allies are doing. They're constantly like focusing all their firepower on one of their enemy's um, support uh, structures. Uh, about a group headquarters here, so they'd like try and nullify one at a time. There's one, not trying to get that one as well. I don't think Axe has got much left to bring to this match, I'm afraid. Notice how um, Nagano is not upgrading his Tommies, because I, I think it's, it's uh, actually the Tommies, don't, if, they don't, if you don't upgrade your Tommies, they're actually better in the long run. Especially at range, I believe. Ooh. He could have avoided that, and now he's going to get shot by Bromba. More Katusha barrages landing on the battle group headquarters here. Does kill the rocket. Another Stuka barrage coming in. Where is this? On the sniper, maybe! Oh no, Loveless and Sniper finally goes down to the Stuka rip. He's got a talent back here now, which is good, just in case of a flank. Triple cap has been in effect for a while now. More Katusha fire. And he's on to the right now, trying to clear all these pack gun crews. And we de detonated that tele uh, the telemine as well. And the gunner's going to push forward again. Hopefully he heals that squad before pushing in. He could do. Planes smashing over that munitions point over there. Rumbard. Currently uncontested. Jackson's trying to rush over there. Firefly is now out. Second one. Don't know why he's pushing in this weak squad here, but he could have healed it with that squad there. It's a bit of a mistake there. Rumba might get a full. Like I was gonna say, Rumba might wipe it in one shot, and that's what happened. He could that, that he didn't need to do that. He could have survived that. Uh oh. Pants, um, you'd be really careful with that firefly. It's gonna go down. And again, blobbing. The guy is blobbing, so he's gonna take a lot of damage from that Rumba when it hits. Spread your units, bro. Else, something else blew up on the right. Oh, Jackson went down somehow. Probably to the pack guns over here. Oh man, this Katusha fire is just doing so much work. T70 Cossy chasing squads down. I don't think we'll wipe this. This is really lucky. Oh, Panther's gonna say hello. Uh oh. Is he gonna get it? Ah, oh, Panther, come on, man. Panther, come on, Panther. Normally, fucking nails squads on the move. Or vehicles on the move. It didn't seem to be there. All rounds coming in on the VP. Very close to dying. Oh, and they do. They would have lived if they kept on going that way, I think. We just had an R2 bomber strike again onto this area. And also, because it's right next to the edge of the map, it's very hard to get rid of it to shoot down the planes before they land. Firefly takes a nasty um, engine crit. Probably will go down into the pack uh, Panther combo here. 
So a good fire flight, a good, good condition rounds to destroy that. And the, the Panther just can't get the last shot in. He should, he should be able to. One more shot needed. He missed again! Oh no! Hooligan, how unlucky! Jackson being aggressive here, pushing forward, trying to get the um, Brumba down. Almost bringing it down very low. Receives engine crit because of that. Smashes the Panther again. Dude, this Jackson. Even though it's limping back, it's still firing on that Panther. Uh, bet, uh, machine gun has been spotted and gets, uh, gets or rather gets flanked and is forced back. Again, more Katushas. Look at all these Katushas all bunched up together. Oh my god, there's too many! You don't need that many Katushas, dude! You're already... You need more vehicles! You need to, like, overwhelm your enemies with vehicles now. Too many Katushas. The enemy has 100 They're already winning the indirect fire. Oh, Vet 3, Engineer, somehow making it alive, even though the flamethrower blew up. Alright, come on. Stickers. Oh, there goes another. All the support weapons are going down from the Axis once more. Oh, there's a, there's a Vox squad very low there. Infantry section could snag it on retreat. Does Nagano see it? Does Nagano see it? A bit too late. That's gonna live. Dude, every, every five seconds there's a Katusha firing. Bloody hell. Manically repairing that. Let's see if, uh, if Nagano can afford. Nagano can afford to upgrade um, Anvil back at base. So we can have advanced repairs on his sappers if he wanted to. He's not doing that. He's almost pop capped as well. So I guess he, unless he's saving up another thing. Oh, here comes the stupid barrage. Direct Katusha fire as well in retaliation. Neither one of those squads are uh, wiped. They're trying to take it. How many? Let me, let's just pause the game and count how many. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, did we count those ones as well? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? Seven Katushas? My god. Seven Katushas, guys. Holy shit. That's a little excessive, but allies have done really well this game. They will have VP control, uh, VP uh, sorry, game three decided if they wanted to choose a faction. Oh, Katusha rounds coming in. It's definitely the Katushas winning them the fight now. Katushas are raining havoc at all the infantry. <clears throat> God, my throat really hurts now. And um, here comes another Stuka barrage landing probably on these riflemen over here. I feel like the Katushas are so much better because they can do a nice spread, whereas if you miss with the Stuka, you, you definitely miss, whereas you don't really miss with the Katusha. Looks like he's going to try and steal machine gun as well over here. Had to try to push in and try to get the last shot in against the T-70. Does get it. That's going to be a nice little pick up there. So stop them to have that vision. But look at Nagano trying to capping the territory all the way back here. Probably should retreat that squad. Looks like that Panther just received a nice re a rear armor hit from something. Oh, vet three or four or four Volks just go down in the middle again. So we've got a rifle going down from Devem. He's not paying attention. That's a bit too late, and he's going to lose that. A bit of a careless mistake there from De Devem. is actually not doing too well. Look at his um, population right now. He's got 51 pop, uh, and he's not got many units left. Double five players are making a move on the vet two Brumba. They're probably going to get it here. One shell more needed and it will go down. They get it. One of the fireflies is severely damaged. Here comes a huge infantry bluff as well to support this. Will they use tunic rockets in conjunction here to finish this off? Nagano could do it if he wants to. Oh, if why didn't he use tunic rockets then? He could have killed it. My FPS has gone terrible. Oh, these Katusha rounds. There's two Katushas firing at once there. One of those fireflies probably going to go down there. It's penetrated by the front from the Schwer. Here comes the entirety of the Allied army bombing this area right now. 
Oh, and we got another one. That firefly just getting taken out as well. We got a cheeky Riquet from the side. Could recruit it and save it if we wanted to. We do have a Jackson coming around here, finding the pa the um, Panzer Werfer. Well, does take that out really easily. Double packs, they do return. Do um, turn on it to try and deal with it. But there's another Riquet in there. Vet 3 Jackson might go down here, trying to be too greedy, pushing too far forward. It does go down. He was way too greedy than trying to get the other ja uh, other, um, other other Panzer Werfer. Should have taken that win. The Allies have already totally dominating this game right now. Just need to finish off this last spur, and that's all the axis. I don't know what the axis probably should just throw in the towel. They've got literally nothing. One, one Panther and three Stukas is all they really have for armor right now. That's it. Yeah, that is it. Jackson's just going to push forward and take out that thing. Fresh came in from Love Nest. One more shot needed, and this spur is dead. And there you go. Get suppressed by something. Probably that. Oh my god! Two conditions again firing over here. Ooh. Probably a little bit overkill. I don't need to fire all that many Katushas. Bloody hell, look at these Katushas. And again, the question lies why didn't the Axis try and make a cheap Puma? Here comes an elephant, but 23, 22 VPs to get, you know, into the game. This is way too late. There's a dead Brumbar over there. KV8 is going to be like, what's up, Riketten? And burn it in seconds. Before he even gets a shot off. Stuka Barrage again, landing here. Doing a bit of damage there. Oh, another one coming in. Landing the opposite way this time. Axe is going to stop, already stop the, 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 the drain now. Axe is going to do something special. More Katusha rounds firing in. These pack guns, though. The, the Katusha rounds are firing just slightly off. Axe have managed to grab the left hand side somehow. Grabbing the mid. Katusha Brian's firing a really danger close now on the middle of EP. Only one squad needs to cap the middle of EP. You might lose more than one squad here. Separate your units, boys. Ooh. Oh, that last round just finished that. Oh, that sucks. And we have a King Tiger out now, because all the Schwers have died, they can they only can bring out King Tigers now. So we have an Elephant and a King Tiger. Elephant is now fighting some Jacksons. Another, another Katusha fire. Every time there's a U any, enemy infantry unit, they just Katusha it straight away. Vet 3 Shock Troopers now moving into the VP, so they're going to be able to grab that back. Allies have got both VPs on the right. Is this Barrage trying to stop them capping this one? Trying to push forward there. It's a little bit greedy. The Stuka Barrage probably getting in the middle of VP once more. Deny the cap. Again, off target. Not doing a whole lot of good. VP on the left will probably get taken for a moment, but there's good danger close. Katusha fire once more. Shocks decide to go for the cap on there rather than the VP. That's questionable when there's only 11 VPs left. Volks are going to have to stick in this fight because they need to get the cap here. And that's what that was Captain Millie, but he just got taken out. King Tiger finally shows up. He's trying to use the Raketa there to stop the cap over there. Brum brand new Brumbar shows up, so he should be able to stop the, the, the cap. 11 P's left. Oh, Volks were just ran into the only mine that was over there. Look at the Katushas, man. Bloody hell. Allies just do a recon run to spot a uh, good target to fire upon. Axe have got hardly any infantry left. They just put all of the infantry just keeps getting wiped. Enemy forces are a sector. So you got the point, you don't need to run into it. You're gonna blow it. <laughs> it's really a kill. Oh, dude. And the MG set the wrong way. Hooligan, no! Hands on the barrage. All these units are all clumped up. This could be good. It's landing there. Oh, that was pretty nice. Double Jacksons, though, are going to try and push in here. But back to packs are there already. They can't really make a good angle there. Okay, left VP is under control. Allies control once more in a second. Backs still have the right in mid. 
King Tiger's going to try and sit on this and not let anyone take it. And it's Sinji Barrage from, I believe, Loveless. <coughs> a good Snooker Barrage there. Here comes another big uh, bombardment here from the ally, uh, Allies. Come the bombs are landing really close to these Axis vehicles. Woo! That elephant's taking some serious damage. And the anti tank is there as well. It's these big Axis tanks. Are hiding. Look at it. King Tiger's having to hide itself. SU 85 trying to penetrate through the front. Really good Panzer for Barrage, just going to push those boys, those, those infantry back. <coughs> Panther now trying to do something on the left hand side. Probably should try and concert their efforts around the middle. I'm just trying to see, look, there's nothing to stop a vehicle quickly rushing around here, up here, and trying killing all these Katushas in the back. The Axis have not once this game tried to try and take that out. There's a big mistake. Not once. I don't think they've killed a single Katusha this entire game, which is, which is a huge shame. They could have done recon and combined with Stuka close air support. The Stukas would have then killed all the uh, the Katushas all together. King Tiger trying to make a move forward. Does kill the SU-85 but it's currently getting shot by two enemy tank guns. One shell bounces. He's going to get around the corner here. Bring on the right. All these, all these enemy tank guns are just getting smashed. Danger close with Panzerwerfer Barrage, going to kill the MG there. Only one only tank gun makes it out of there. And then they're going to continue to drop more artillery on this area. Panzer, we've got some Jaegers trying to kill the recruits on the point. Things like a limping back for repairs. Is he going to recruit that? He is. He's going to have to recruit it. Oh no, and then like an IL-2 bomber strike killing the Grens over there as well. No. All these, all this, all these pack guns have got no support. And we've got another Stuka Barrage coming in here. He's going to use a rifle grenade to try and kill it quicker so we can get the cap. Five VPs remain. Allies are going to cap this. I feel like Allies actually is going to probably just stop the cap just about. The train just about here. We've got two Jacksons. They move in to quickly take out the Brum Bar. And they're going to get away with it too. Oh, I'm going to have to cast the third game. No. <laughs> Trying to Panzerwerf this to stop it, but the Panzerwerfers don't do their job. They don't kill the, the, the unit cap in the point, so... The Allies are now going to win the game. There's nothing to stop now. That's GG. Well played. Friends, probably going to do close quarters there against some shocks, nothing. <laughs> That's it. Install she wrote. GG! <sighs> Damn. Combo, combo! Damn, son. So, again, every game we've seen the Allies do really well. We watched the other game where the other Allies team made loads of Katushas and they, they... Did they win? I think they did win, didn't they? So both games um, where the Allies have win now was loads of Katushas were built. But in both games... No one made a Puma or made a quick, cheap Axis vehicle to go around the outside to see if they could try and kill the Katushas. Not once was that done, and not once did the Axis try and do a recall run in, conju in conjunction with the Stuka close air support to kill the Stuka, to kill the Katushas, because they're all clumped up together. <clears throat> okay, here the, here the stats, boys. Uh, here's the Zara. I think it's the Zara. All his Katushas. There you go. Spin KD there because he had all the Katushas. Loveless doing very well. Apart from the KV-8 move. 
He was playing very well that game. The sniper eventually died. Got a good counter sniper. It played for itself. Devem, on the other hand, not doing too well. Probably the worst person on the team at the moment there. Loveless didn't have much uh, damage. I mean, Love it, it, actually, Devem did do really well with his Jacksons, I have to say. <clears throat> but with his infantry, not so much. Um, Nagano, with the double Firefly push, that was nice. He managed to kill some things there. But he ended up losing both Fireflies, carelessly, in my opinion. <clears throat> he didn't need to lose either one of them. <coughs> oh, my throat.